There we go. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, welcome to another episode of Once Upon a Game, where uh, I, we're, we play story games here. Um, mostly GM-less games, sometimes GM games, sometimes playtesting games, uh, all types of games. This is the, the big thing that ties it all together is that fun people can volunteer their time to hang out with us on stream and play some cool games together and uh, and agree it's a one-shot experience. So whatever happens today, we're going to watch it, watch it and burn or explode or, or liquefy or, or sublimate whichever way it wants to um, never to return so we have to enjoy it while it lasts so I'm Eric I'm your host and facilitator uh, of tonight's game stuff mm -hmm. and that's enough about me I, I know why you're really here you're here for these three amazing players I brought with me so let's go around and see how they're doing today Luke hello hello uh, I am Luke I'm doing very well today um, because I don't have to be at work, and my days are free for Once Upon a Game again, because my schedule shifted, it's like, yes. Uh, I'm nice. Luke, I'm a professional GM for children, I am also a uh, role-playing game designer, uh, sometimes, and then increasingly I, I do this thing where I play games on stream, I guess. Yeah, it's a good way, it's a yeah. good way to, to, to live. Believe that's, me. That's, that's me. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Anthony, welcome hey, back. how's it going? Hey. Thanks. Yeah, it was just, what, last week? Yep. <laughs> yep. All right. So, uh, Anthony, uh, full link on all the social medias. Uh, by day, I am an automotive analyst, and by night, I do this. this I'm on your channel. <laughs> That's what I do, and I'm <laughs> happy to do so. so You're a spy. Thanks. I get it. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. No, Anthony, it's always great to have you. Uh, Anthony is super good, and uh, we 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 go way back, so it's it's nice. Cool. And we have a newcomer to to stream today, Daniel. Hi, welcome. Hello, uh, thanks for having me. I'm uh, Daniel, but I usually go on the internet as Soundways Ghost, Ghost most recently, mainly yeah. because it's a better name than my own most of the time for the internet. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll uh, call you Soundwaves. Uh, pretty good. I mean, I pretty much just play uh, L5R type games, you know, ones of the ones that are a little more esoteric, but I've recently branched out into, you know, the play by apocalypse games, which brought me to originally to your channel and APs because you guys were starting those then. So it's been yeah. a fun ride. Awesome. Yes. You know, some people are too good at them. I've noticed, but you know, <laughs> fun. Hey, um, there, it's, it's a, it's a skill just like any other and you get, you get better by practicing and exercising brain muscles. That's true, and some are better, at, quicker at it. It's scary, um, but you know, I was just normally just a fan, and I just play a lot of board games. You know, and uh, like I said, L5R. I've been playing online since 2002, almost. I think went through all but one of the editions of that game, and yeah. <laughs> D and D itself have been there since the beginning. But I've always been the support guy, so it's kind of different for me. I'm trying to branch out and be not the support guy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, we're in a great spot if you want to um, see what what other kind of games are out there. Also, this is this is uh, the King is Dead. We're gonna do something a little bit special. Uh, this is a game by Vincent and Meg Baker, the people who brought you Dogs in the Vineyard and yes! Apocalypse World and Kill Puppies for Satan and Poisoned. Um, we're going to do At a little Asundered Land. Let us. Oh mock yeah, the dead. yeah. Asundered wicked... Land. Yeah, in Wicked Age, right? So. Uh, good, good stuff. Sunderland. Ah, yeah, it's a good. That's a really good playlist of games, uh, by the way. So, anyways, uh, yeah, we're we're doing a quick little twist and spin on the King of Zed. I know we played the King of Zed last week, um, so we're gonna do it as samurai. We originally were going to do the L5R beta playtest, but I'm a little bit burnt out from do running it because it's it's frustrating and it's, it's lacking some things for me, and it also wouldn't really make a great um, stream to start out with because there's a lot of character creation stuff. So, anyways, enough about that. Let's talk about what this game is today. So, basically, the king is dead. We're going to be playing the knights, or in this case, it's the samurai, belonging to great great houses, great clans. And our king has, has, has passed away. We will not be playing the samurai who might be potentially ascending to the throne. That's not who we are. Those that we leave that to our more esteemed nephews, cousins, nieces, etc. Someone, someone, someone more fit than than us. The object of this game is for us to make a mess. All right. 
So we're going to try to complicate things. We're going to fight with our friends. We're going to ally with our rivals. And we're going to fall in love with our enemies. That That is the heart and soul of this game. Uh, expect a lot of dancing, eating, arguing, dueling, uh, warfare, the whole, the whole shebang. Pretty much everything we ever want from a season of Game of Thrones. We're going to do it here samurai style. All right, in two so, and a half hours. And yeah, in about two and a half hours. So that's that's the cool part about this game. So let's get ready to do some character creation. Now, character creation is very, very, very simple. Um, all we got to do is we're going to be picking one of these houses, one of these five out here. Um, I feel like we should probably just leave the names as is, even though we're doing a samurai thing over it, only because I don't feel like changing the names into something like that might forget it later <laughs> yeah and uh it also makes it easier to associate the rest of the rules to the game um mm -hmm. and then so we're gonna be picking one of those houses we're gonna pick a name and we're going to be choosing three attractive qualities from this attractive qualities list and that is our character right so once we have an idea of who we want to be um i will go ahead and and uh write down what our characters are and then get everything kind of set up um, in order to continue all right so so for everyone reading at home, maybe the text is too small. So while players are deciding, I will kind of read out a quick little summary of all the different houses and what they kind of represent. House Antir or Antire, um, I've, heard it, I've heard it both ways. Um, they are sort of like your wildlings crossed with the Starks. Um, they are more tribal. They practice very older, like much older customs. Um, and they are very, 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 like, we don't do things halfway kind of house. The next thing, uh, the next house up is House Dillstone. And Dillstone was sort of the house that was the original, or not the original, I should say. They are the most recent house that was on the throne. It is their king who died. And now the point of contention is being about who should ascend is, is happening because the king has no heir. Right? Or I guess in this case it would be the shogun right mm -hmm. yeah so um they are kind of representative of almost like the lannisters i guess is probably the best way of thinking about them they're very powerful and wealthy um but they also are they have a really soft spot for i guess in this case instead of chivalry it'll be bushido um they have a very strong uh sense of honor maybe perhaps not not to say that other houses don't but perhaps they just uh accentuate it Third house is House Lunest. They are their foreign power. Um, this is sort of a house that um, is, is trying to like break their way back into the good graces. Perhaps they're, I'm not exactly sure what this would look like and in, in draw an analog here, except maybe like the Targaryens trying to return um, back across the sea. But I'm not really sure what the um, what the, sort of like the samurai analog of that would be. It's the Portuguese. Ah. Right. right. This is the this is the West. The West showing up and knocking on the door. Yep. I love that. Mmm. So we're doing like samurai shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah I mean, the, you know, it's like right at the ground. I mean, the you know, the you know. We're period, also right? doing like real history. That's a thing that happened. Eric. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Of course. And you're <laughs> going to be the one, and you want to play a kitsune. <laughs> so like, we'll see. <laughs> Look, um, people in real Japan believed in kitsune as well. That's a real thing that they believed in. Yes. So. <laughs> Um, we're not going to be sticklers for for a complete history, but anyways, now two two houses to go through. Hopefully, you guys have had time now to look over your and figure out who you want to be. But uh, House Oak, House Oak is sort of your your loyal house. They're the ones who were always sort of like the muscle for House Dillstone. Um, they were all about being like a bodyguard house. They they keep their oaths. That's like the number one thing, and kind of like the House Dillstone, they absolutely are pretty much about honor and honor bound and obviously oaths right and, and allegiances then last but not least is house sandorial i think house sandorial will probably be closest to something like the parathians might maybe they, they might be the closest analog there um they absolutely want to get back on the throne and 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 be they, they're sort of in one of the strongest position, positions to, to start out with and uh yeah they're kind of like the other side of the Oh no, House Dillstone cannot doesn't have an heir, and House Sandorial is sort of the house that's kind of majorly pressuring them to be like, uh, we should probably assert our claims back. 
right? So that's sort of the, the gist of the, of the game. Um, that's sort of where things will begin. Expect all allegiances and, I guess, declarations of wars to change and fluctuate over the course of the game, as it's intended. We should probably pick um, one of us to be a representative of each house so we don't have multiple. But you could, theoretically. Mm. But I think it'd be more fun if we were all separate. All right. So, um, that out of the way. What, um, and who wants to go first? Whoever's most excited can go first. Yeah. The game actually does say you have to be from different houses. Oh, good. I think, yeah. So, who wants to jump to Vincent? I can go. All right. Anthony, take it away. All right. So, since I've played this game a couple times now, I'm going to take one I haven't. I'll be of House Oak. Um, character's name would be uh, Yakita, which, unless I just like completely mispronounce that word, is burnt. So I get my pun, so I'm happy. Uh, and his uh, qualities are going to be brooding, steadfast, and musical. Uh, he, he, him? Yes. Right. And it said brooding, steadfast, and musical? Yep. Cool. So is this person kind of like... Well, like what, I guess what's her instrument is the question. Uh, I'll get back to you on, on that one. <laughs> I, Wikipedia, that one. list of Japanese music. No lists. problem. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Uh, like I, well, I, I know what I want in my head. I just want to make sure I'm saying the correct name. Right. Okay. Cool. Who wants um, to go next? Oh, uh, if if uh, Soundwave doesn't mind, I might go with House Antia. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I was actually that was uh, 50 50 on that between that and the nest. If you want that one, take it. Cool. All right. Yeah. So I I I, I serve the interests of House Antia. Um. My character's name is Honoka. Um, and uh, the uh, the virtues, the good things I have chosen are beautiful, cheerful, and graceful. Um, and I'm still I'm still thinking about gender. Let me get back to let me get back sure. to you on that one. What's your name? What was your name again? Uh, Honoka. H O N O K A. Perfect. And the character may or may not be a kid today. I haven't decided yet. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> it would fit, though. I mean, you're in the ancient I, set. Exactly, which is why I picked um, yeah, House yeah. Antire. Cool. Soundwaves goes. How about you go next? I was going to go with the Linest. Um, I was going to go with the character oh. of, of Mitsubachi, which actually I played before. It uh, means honeybee, which is funny to me, just for reasons. Um, I was going to have him be courteous. Handsome and tall. A little Great. light on the extra fluff, but I like that. I just it feels that flows. <laughs> Definitely. And that's Lunest, right? Yes. Hmm. Amusingly enough, my white favorite curl is purple, and that's what's sitting beside it. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. And then Ooh, I get Dillstone or Sandorial. Ooh. Well, I played Dillstone last game, so I'm going to pick Sandorial. Ooh. Um, and I'm going to be... I'm just going to go straight up. My name's going to be Sandorial uh, Ryu. I'm just going to be... Yep. Ryu. It's going to be a dragon. So I'm going to be ambitious. <laughs> so I'm going to choose a calm at arms, brooding, and steadfast. Ooh. I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the heel today, everybody. I'm gonna be That's the Sandorial special be Sun Dare. <laughs> right. Um And is uh Ryu uh he him? Yeah, he him. Cool. You know what? I think Honoka is a he him as well. Okay. I think. <laughs> I well, I think in the context of this game, 
Uh, like, it works. Um, dudes flirting with dudes was definitely a thing in feudal Japan, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did not spell courteous right. How do you spell courteous? Uh, C-O-U. Yeah, just missed it all. But yeah. Like court, of course. Yes, Eric, exactly. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> cool. Hence the term, but okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I should have I should have picked up on that, but I did not. House and S starts the game with three muster, and I start with seven. Okay, cool. So as we can see, um, let me talk about what I just did there. So this is gonna be a part of the game. There's a mechanic in this game that represents the strength and position of our house to take the throne. That is just called the muster. Hold on a second. Um, Windows wants to say that I have an update and. <laughs> No, no, you don't. <laughs> Let's just push it off to tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Windows. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, right. So um, this is represents the strength and position of our houses. We can play ver several games that will change and fluctuate this list. Um, at the end of the game, when we choose to end this game, um, we will be pick playing a game called the Coronation, um, which the per house with the highest muster will be the one who ends up taking and assuming the shogunate of our game i think uh other than that yeah um am i missing anything else right real quick anthony for the game uh oh yeah expect to die that's possible dying's on the table uh, we don't have to obviously um when death is on the table you will die only because you can see you'll see the path that leads you to death there's no way that you can like die by like random circumstance right i think it's what i was saying is that you are in control there um mm. okay let's see i think that's that's about it uh, i think we're ready to begin and this game begins with a game of intrigue the oldest person goes first um and this person gets to play a game of intrigue to start things off this is sort of like the intro scene to game of thrones that kicks off all of the um, drama, but at any point, um, the drama can continue by playing another intrigue game. Um, so intrigue is played by this. So one player will go, the oldest player will go, and they will pick one of these sort of like sentences or or phrases that from the game. Uh, so for example, let me show you a list on screen. So for example, if I wanted to intrigue about House Antir, I could say something like House Antir invokes a blood anathema upon House Lunest, the foreign power. House Lunest loses one muster. And yeah, so then we, we could and we could describe what that looks like, right? Or you could just say it. It's it's very much up to you. You can embellish as much as you want, um, whatever you're comfortable with, and then that's could be or could not be the sort of like thing that's gonna have the entire game kind of like pivot around early on. All right. So that's the that's the gist of the game. So who's the oldest player? Uh, it's not not me. <laughs> uh, probably not me. It's probably some ways. At thirty nine, I'm up there. <laughs> yep. Awesome. So you have to go first. So um, under under intrigue and muster, you have to pick one of those options that's not under your house. That's the only thing you can pick any of them as long as it's not about as, as long as it's not one of those options that's under your specific house. Okay. Um, I think I think I will go with Sandorio just because they're the highest. Mm hmm That's a good call. Um, let's see, let me choose here. I will say that House Sandorio assassinated a powerful general of House Oak in their own home. House Oak loses one muster. Cool. Well, they're not on the list, but I love that shit. That sounds perfect. Cool. Yeah, so I totally... All right, so that means someone of my clan. How my dare house you, Eric? Has... Oh, okay. So we have we have done something heinous. We have assassinated someone. Okay. Someone of your clan, Eric. It was you. Just Let's just be upfront about it. <laughs> I know. Well, I, I, we can't we can't jump to conclusions, everybody. Let's not well, be not hasty. Right. Let's not be hasty about this. But perfect, thank you. All right, so that's that's where the beginning of the game can, will begin. From now, from here on out, we can just do sort of free play. 
Um, typically, the way I would say is, and how free play is going to work, is that we are going to be picking uh, games whenever we kind of feel like it. Try not to go twice in a row unless it's like completely obvious that a game needs to follow up. But typically, if, if that's true, the other player will probably want to follow up with you anyways, and they'll pick the game because it kind of just makes sense. But um, so who wants to? I think I have an idea for your game, but you know. I, it's, it's my show, and if someone else wants to go first and plays and is interested in doing something else, I will I will obviously see it and let something else go. What do you think? Go ahead. Go for it. Cool. Go uh, tune up. I'll get my revenge yes. later. It's cool. All right, so we're gonna have a uh, <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have a conversation over food. Yes. And I think this is this is for everybody. Uh, choose one of the other players to be your partner in the conversation. Other players can join freely if it makes yeah, sense. Exactly. So I need to choose one of you to be specifically about it. And I think I'm going to... I think it's going to be you, Mitsubashi. Mm. I think we're hosting you. We are courting the foreign power. Of course. Uh, want by I... the way, Eric, um, yeah. I lost one muster. Oh, you are House Oak. Yeah. Oh, right! <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm thought it was your dude. I, I I'm so sorry. I know I'm, that was I'm so sorry. That was last that's, week. It's cool. I know. I know. I that's exact. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So we're gonna do. So you and I we're gonna do a conversation over food. Um. Of course, this is going to be available for everyone else. But now we're gonna talk about the pretenses of what we're doing over over this food. And the thing I feel like the big thing that this should be about is um, we are. I think we are hosting you. Um, Makes sense. Which which would make sense. I feel like we are. I feel like this is probably something that's a little risky. I, what do you guys think? Like it's like, oh, you're hosting House Luness. That's, you know, normally we don't. You're not really supposed to do that. Or it's a sign of desperation, isn't it? Yeah. You're turning to the Nankaijing, the foreign barbarians. We prefer to see them as becoming more enlightened. <laughs> right and so so i don't think this is about a holiday or anything like that right um i think feel like this is just sort of like a your ships are around and and we we welcome you in Ooh, actually i have another idea there's a storm going on and um we have we have granted you port mm. and now we, we have we're hosting you Um, I think I feel like that's pretty cool. So here's the here's the first thing I want to know. Um, this would be so this is probably around dinner time. Okay. So um, Lunest, Mitsubashi, how do you look to me? What's your mood? Um, jovial. He's just amused by what he's seen. Like it's not so. It, it's somewhere between what what he's seen and and how ostentatious it is. You know, like yeah. like impressed but also like oh that's kind of funny why would they do that we are we are pulling out all the stops too yeah. by the way like that makes perfect sense so to him it's just like well i just got stuck for the night you know and you guys yeah. are like party oh no yeah exactly <laughs> yeah i know it, it's it's a very lavish feast um cool cool um cool now you ask me how do, how do, um how do you look to me and what's my mood um all right um how sender all how is uh, how is your appearance this evening? <laughs> and what is uh, your mood apparently at? Or at we are overdressed, and um, of course, because we are, we have guests here, and we we kind of have that sensation of um, false modesty, where we're like, oh, there's no, we didn't expect this. This is such a surprise, and we have like this massive feast for you, right? So my, our mood is very duplicitous. Um, you can tell that something's going on, um, and being, and you feel like you can't help but feel like you're being used in some way. Yes. Um, cool. So that's that's where we're that's where we're going to begin. So now we're going to take turns. Um, we're going to take yeah. turns. Um, the, and the house with the lowest muster takes the first turn. So that's not me. That's going to be you. Yeah, literally. And literally, all we do is we kind of just role play back and forth, and you can ask me topical questions. Uh, based on one of these likely topics or something else that you want to do. Um, and I will engage the same. And once we're ready, we can we can end the conversation by choosing to pass or when everyone else loses, uh, leaves the conversation. And um, 
I feel like were you guys were you other two, Luke and Anthony, do you think you guys will be joining later? Do you think y'all be joining or do you think you're already here? Anthony, you're muted, my friend. Yeah, House Oak will not be attending. <laughs> and you know yeah. why. Yeah, that's fair. That's that's um, super good actually. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think I think Honoka is here. Um Okay. I think Honoka is often around Ryu. Coincidentally. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I'll be open up with a question or a topic or either or. Uh you yeah, you you ask me a topical question. Okay. Or um, or you engage in verbatim impromptu yeah. conversation. Okay. Or um, you just say something about the food. <laughs> I want to go with the, I need you to come clean about House Oak. Do you? Oh. The whispered thing. He's like, you can tell me. We're friends, right? <laughs> I, I do a very nice, uh, bolsterous laugh um, as, as I sit down to eat. Uh, eat because i'm like i feel like I, i'm serving you too when i sit down too and like pick up my, my my chopsticks and like dig into some sort of like sashimi or something like that right <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you're funny <laughs> i'd shut you down like completely um yeah. and i say uh it's a shame that this weather um you know it's like it's a shame that this weather has, has is going to be delaying your travels to the capital but with every there's always a how do you say it a silver lining and um i and i feel like i'm i'm going to i don't know what exactly what this sounds like but i need you to reassure me that you can keep your word uh so i feel like i I need to say something to you being like oh you can trust me and it's like oh yeah how do i but i don't obviously i don't say that but the, whatever i say is the subtext is that like prove mm. like what can you do to prove to me that you can keep your word right well, and, it is my understanding that your emperor is, regardless of what happens when we actually reach him in the Shogun seat, he is hesitant about trade. We are willing to trade with whoever wishes to trade with us, and we give extremely handsome rebates for those who trade with us freely. Hmm. Yeah. I hope, okay, um, I say, ah, oh, is that true? Are you always so generous with your friends? And I need to get you to commit to that, and you're not just lying. He smiles very widely. Do you not see that I'm here? I'm not in my ship, and I am alone here with you? You are my friend now. I am your friend. There's a crate already waiting for you. That's a gift from my people hmm. very well i have a gift for you as well and um i like snap my my i clap my hands and a i guess like a servant or somebody comes out with a um a bundle of swords belonging to a s slain oak general saying that or I guess I guess maybe maybe we would know that, but I feel like maybe like the pommels are like now blank, right? Uh, instead of having the actual like the mon symbols of, the clan. of yeah the yeah. mon of the clan, but like we cool. there's like a there's like a flashback right of like us like polishing them off and things like that, and we present you these swords, and uh, say consider this a gift for you um, when you go to the capital. will help you fit in better i appreciate the gift friend you will enjoy ours as well it is fine drinks from across the land Ooh, actually you know what um let's take that i'm gonna take that back if you don't mind real quick i think okay. it, i i think it would be better if i didn't polish them 
I, if they actually were yeah. that, oh, and absolutely. you, and you would, you're gonna go into the capital wearing the, the slain guys' <laughs> swords, which is like I totally just set you up into this. I feel like that's probably better. That's that's more amusing. Yes, it is. Yeah, because like you don't know, like yeah, right? Or um, I'm not at yeah. that point where I would know really the intricacies of the mons yet because yeah, I'm just yeah. getting here. Yeah, yeah. And, exactly. Like, and like exactly. And like further than that, there's almost certainly detail. By which people in the know can tell this is not just like the die show of any random oak person. It's this specific general, yeah. and you just like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, enjoy. Yeah, it's customary to 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 have something like this in in the capital. So, wear proudly. Is what I say to you. <laughs> I will. I'll a me gift. A Treat it well. A gift for a gift, and um. Is, is there any point when you guys, anyone else wants to step in here? Yeah, I think um, I think Honoka is seated like a little bit further down the table um, mm -hmm. from the two of you, and mm -hmm. uh, like is sitting opposite a very beautiful young man. And I think there's like a, a beautiful young woman set next to that young man, and they're all kind of like laughing and flirting together. Um, and kind of, like, being very, like, open and expressive in a way that's, like, just teetering right on the edge of, like, socially unacceptable. Um, and so, both of you, uh, I'm feeling expansive. What do you want to know about me? Mm. You first, Mitsubashi. Hmm. Well, I mean, as, as my guy... I is kind of out of the know. He wants to know where she's from. Uh, he is from uh, House Anti, so up in the far north. Um, the mountains. <laughs> yeah, well, I, even, like, I'm thinking almost like Hokkaido, if we, like, totally oh, okay. Japan had like this. Yeah. Like, I, I am from, like, a separate island where in the Barbarian Kingdoms. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you're you're far well, off, yeah. Yeah, yeah, where we have, like, strange and barbarous religious practices and, and foreign ways, and it's all very unusual. Hmm. Interesting. How do you find our food, Hanoka? I'm curious if you like our... For you, un non-traditional cuisine. Yeah, right? And, and this is the thing. Um... I think this question comes with a context of like, there is historically uh, some tension between the two cultures over the question of whose food is better. Yeah. And over the fact that like the taste in food is can be quite different. Yeah, I'm told um, there's definitely baggage to this question for sure. Yeah, right. totally. And I, th I think I think like most of the platter uh, in front of Honoka, like all of, all, of, all of the like, the sushi has been like, you know, kind of like, has been left untouched and the sashimi has been like, you know, like offered teasingly to like the young, the handsome young man across the table. Mm -hmm. um, not into his mouth because that would be inappropriate uh, or onto his chopsticks. I put it on his place that plate and then he picks it up. We don't want to evoke any funereal customs As... involving the passing of bones between chopsticks. That, that would be very rude. Um, but the, like any tofu, particularly fried tofu that goes anywhere near Honoka is just like snaffled up. Um, and like with relish, just like devoured and enjoyed. Um, mm. and also yeah. like the red, the, the red, like bean paste. Yeah. It's like, they, they have very weird and peculiar kinds of your food that they like, yes. yeah, that he likes, it would seem. Yeah. So he, yeah. So he only eats the things that he likes. So, yeah. So what do you say to me when I say that? Right. I say, um, we do not, uh, it is very fine food. We do not have up north the means to grow the soya bean or the red bean. And so they are rare delicacies that I am most enjoying. Mm. Wonderful. And I, I, I graciously bow to you and, and thank you. And I think... Um... See, I think that's that's a good spot, and I, I think I say, hmm, I think I hear music coming. Let me see if I can go uh, and see what that's about, and you know, and I, I, I bow again, and I'm going to go real quick to check out um, what's going on, and I'm basically passing. Um, yep. 
Okay. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna pass too. I think I just uh, start. I, I begin like a stream of polite nothings, yeah. uh, with uh, Mitsubishi about the food in his country and what that food is like, um, and talk about absolutely nothing of substance. Yeah, he's basically bragging about how they don't have to make beans to make sweet things, but they go get it from somebody else. Yeah. And basically, he's just talking. He's like trying to fluff up his supply chain and how important it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he passes. Yep. Cool. cool. That's the game. <laughs> and that's our that's that's the second game. So now someone else can go. Um, you could either play a game immediately after. You can flash forward. We could cut mm -hmm. somewhere else. That's oh, we're all. I, I think there's a good follow up to you to this. Okay. So, uh, it's trial by contest. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 See. You tried to be cute um, by selling <laughs> what what our weapons to somebody else, but you did it in a way that was way too public. So while we can't immediately have the grounds to go to war, um, trial by contest is still good. Uh, and what house? This one is Sandorial. Yep. Sandorial is definitely the, who so I'm challenging. Oak, so Oak and Sandorial trial by combat or contest. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so where does this take place? Are we summoned to the capital as well? Yeah, I think this is the okay. like. This mm. has happened before. It's it's. Am I in it, chains here? No. It's okay. Not I. Uh, I mean, uh, did you resist? No, I because I. I I protest my innocence. Yep, there and we go. The, yeah. the light of the gods will prove me, uh, prove it to be so. Okay, cool, cool. So we we appeal before the imperial magistrate, or oh. right, or like whatever the imperial court is, so I can protest my innocence. Right. In a way, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's a pretty good. It's pretty decent uh, dispute. Yeah. Um, so let's just make sure we should state our positions. Yes. Uh, explicitly on what this is and basically what it means that if one of us would lose um i feel like mine is is very clearly um how you know clan sandorial is um wrongly accused and innocent of all charges and accusations and they have done nothing wrong yeah and then obviously the <laughs> it's the inverse for for me you okay. you, you must admit yeah. right wrongdoing Okay, so Clan Oak, uh, Yakata, how do you look to me? What's your mood? So, uh, <sighs> Yataka is um, dressed in. I mean, it's it's definitely like fine um, silk, but it's it's not flashy. It's not mm -hmm. it it's not. Uh, very colorful it's very earth tones um kind of going with like a tree theme but uh beyond that his what's most notable about him is that he uh, has on kind of unkempt hair like it's very straight very but it's not tied back it's, okay it's never been tied back and it's just never been the way that he has carried himself. He's always kind of been the outsider. Um, and he is just pissed. <laughs> he is it, uh, just <laughs> eyes locked, like just intense stare. That right. Like just staring right. you down. Yep. Oh, well, cool. And by the way, thank you, Saragon, for the, the re ups for the, for the subs. So, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so is it How normal you... for your hair to like always be down? Like is yes. so okay. So it's not is... like oh this is inappropriate. This is just no, your style. Okay. This is just his style. He is. So the only thing that would like be out of somewhat out of place is that mm -hmm. instead of like he's never been like super happy and cheerful, but the intense the stare of like he he has been wrong, <laughs> and this is the way that he can right this wrong. Right. And, um, okay, cool. So I feel like to you, I look 
very cool and calm and collected. Um, I still have a somewhat like I'm I'm constantly smirking. Like I like you're this is this is a farce. This isn't gonna work out anywhere, right? Uh... <laughs> so I feel like that's kind of the the trick there. So okay, so who do you so let's see during the trials anyone can ask anyone for details of the setting uh, uh, occasion participants audience outcome or circumstances um we also have to agree which of us will take the first turn i feel like i have to take the first turn because i'm the one being accused right yep that's fine i mean cool um so i'm gonna take the first trial i'm gonna take trial one i'm gonna take a trial by oath um i declare by a blood curdling oath that you that i will swear to prove my position all right so, um, I feel like this is the part where I, I state, like, how, you know, how do you plead, right? Right. And I say, um, I, Ryu of House of, of Clan and Family Sandorial, steadfast samurai to the Sandorial family, do solemnly swear that these accusations are baseless and foundless, and that my family and myself's name will be dragged through this mud no longer. And that by the end of today, the end, or by the end of these trials, and this nonsense will be settled. That's your turn. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go with divination. So mm. you call upon a priest or priestess of your gods, of your challengers' gods, to divine the truth. Yes. So this is. So what does this look like? So. Uh, Basically, the way that this looks like is I'm kind of imagining that in kind of this like fictional, magical Japan setting that ancestor, like still ancestor worship is something that has happened in, in this fictional setting is happening. Um, so while there are the temples themselves might, in the capital may not be for specific ancestors, I think all of the great clans have like sections within that temple. So there are every, and this is kind of how something like this can be happen is that everybody goes into this collective community. And in this case, I am calling upon my own ancestors. So the priest of my clan will be taking care of this div divination ritual. And it's something that is kind of long and like I said, it's a ritual, right? So right. So yeah, it's, it's this long drawn out ritual. Yes, long drawn out yeah. ceremony and ritual. And so that is so because I'm using my own gods and ancestors mm -hmm. in this case, I get to throw three coin. If at least one of them are heads, the gods pronounce favor in my favor. It's then my challenger's turn. Yeah. Note if I would have gone with the challenger's gods. I get would have got one of them, but it, if I would have gotten the heads, I would have just one, one. outright one. Yeah. Yep. So of course. Th roll three d two. Um, we're going with heads being one. one. Yep. Cool. Survey says unrecognized command because I did not because I did it and can't put a space. <laughs> oh my god! All heads. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The ancestors are with you. The three ancestors pointing fingers. <laughs> mm. Right. I think I feel like there's shocks in the in the um, in the court. Oh, such a unanimous divine decision. This cannot be right. <laughs> clearly, clearly, Clan Oak has rigged this and hired this person. This cannot be right at all. This is a farce. We will sell this the true way. And um, I think I, I probably lay forth my my katana in some way. And I say, I demand trial by combat. Dun, dun, dun. Well, all right. That, there's nothing I can do on that one. So, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. So at some point, we're going to do a trial by combat. That wasn't Perfect. looking good for him. <laughs> Huzzah. I'll have enough of this farce. Cool. Um, that's that's good. All right. Who wants to go next? I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to jump in and do the meeting sword to sword uh, mm -hmm. yet. I feel like we should we should yeah. sparse that in. Hmm. 
I kind of think I should meet with Oak. Like at this point, like kind of like a midpoint right before this all kind of like what set up accidentally. Yeah. That trial. Yeah, it seems like we're probably all in the capital. Like that seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, because I've I've then got a scene I want to do with Eric, uh, before also before the duel, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like a, it's like a day and a, a day and a night from now they will meet. Well, yeah. Or whatever. Sure, so that sounds dance. Good. That sounds good to me. I was thinking maybe an animated disagreement. Oh. Okay. Where basically you know. Ah catching me walking around like everyday mm -hmm. folk with a katana on my hip that does not belong to me oh yes <laughs> yeah okay cool that sounds like that's, a great one so is this, is this in the street is this in the street yeah just i mean i don't know any better so yeah, i'm just totally i'm fitting in i'm a cool guy you know cool. with my <laughs> My powdery wig and yeah. pompadoury shoes, and now my katana. That's a mm. that's a really good that's a really 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 good um, disagreement. So <laughs> yeah, so this is happening in the streets. Um, so you guys have to ask each other, how do you look to each other, and what's your mood? Um, so Lord Oak, <laughs> how is how do you appear, and uh, what's your mood? Uh, so up until the point where I actually see the the sword, um, it's a very like sullen, like almost like trance like look, because in his head he's just already preparing. Right, he's going back and just getting himself ready for w when this um, contest will happen. Mm, but he yeah, sees the yeah. sword. Yeah, you're so getting in the zone. Immediately, yeah. he's yeah. just snapped out of it, and yeah. might have slightly lost his temper a bit, <laughs> like seems... just getting right up in your face. <laughs> that seems super reasonable. Yeah. Totally, totally. Yeah. Okay, that makes perfect sense, right? Yeah. So, like, you're trying to like focus and get yourself in that into that sort of like zone, ready for the the actual showdown for trial by combat, and all of a sudden you see this. You see your dead general uncle's swords on the belt of this person. Yep. Yeah. Very obviously on this person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're like flaunting it, being like, huh, look at this. I am so good. <laughs> so that's basically, you know, like I said, I was, um, got my yeah. wig and got my buckle shoes and my weird pantaloon thing going on, <laughs> big puffy shirt, and jangling, not really well put on because I'm using a belt, not the Obi. There's the two katana, uh, katana daisho, you know, on yeah. my side. And so you, yeah, I love it that That's you the can't, wrong side. yeah, and That's... oh, and and everyone's giving you these looks like of like, oh my god, and, and really though, to, yeah. yeah, to you it's like, yeah, look at me, I'm fitting in, like you don't, you can't read the situation. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, cool. So, um, yeah, before you begin, um, you have to choose if houses will win or lose muster from this. Right. It can be uh, that the the winner of this argument can gain a muster. The loser of this argument can gain uh, can lose a muster. It could be neither of those options, or it could be both of those options. I feel like losing one would because if I lose this argument, I'm totally losing faith. Like my status just goes way down. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I think so because it makes me look even more of an outsider yeah. and not but, able to fit in if I yeah. don't get it right. Lunas already can't go down any further than what they already exactly. are. But mm. I don't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay, cool. So you're fine with that loser losing muster? Yes. Cool. All right. Um, so, Luke, you and I, we get to conduct this disagreement together. So we, <laughs> we are going to be your judges. I. Uh, in fact, we're going to be switching off between three questions. Um, Luke, since I'm talking, kind of ending up facilitating this game, um, how about you You be the, the, you get to do two of the three questions and I'll do the, the middle one, okay? Yep, cool. The way, right, so um, basically we're going to ask you, we're going to take turns posing challenges to you two. Um, mm -hmm. For example, we'll give something like, please explain how your position is the most noble and honorable. And then you'll have to convince the judge based on your response why that's true or not and then the judge has to weigh in on that they can be as impartial or partial as they want um <laughs> so keep that in mind we are not playing our characters for this moment um like us me, luke and i 
Um, <laughs> you guys are still playing yours, right? But we are sort of the audience here, uh, judging the the um, veracity of your claims. The disembodied okay. shouters. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Um, let's let's get ready to do this, Luke. Uh, I'm going to cede it to you for the first challenge. So address the player, or just the player character, and and what what is that challenge? Is it uh, one of them or is it both? Well, it's both, but you choose the person who has to answer first. Ah, yep, yeah, gotcha. All right. Hmm. Um, starting with House Lunest. Please explain how your position best serves the will of the gods. Hmm. Well, House Lunest God, with a G that's capitalized believes that all men should be in peace and togetherness. And to be in peace and togetherness, we must all take in other customs and learn them, embrace them, make them part of you, strengthen the whole. I was uh, simply attempting to do so. I have no instructions. I have simply going off of what I've seen. I am different handed than mo the person who wore this before, obviously, so I wore it on a different side. And puttering out there. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Okay. So, good. The sword that is on his person belongs to my house. It has belonged to my house since it was created. The iron forged that blade belongs to my house it has belonged to this my house since the earth was made the sword in his possession is not his it's never been his it has always been mine and my house's if this sword is not returned to our possession then the earth is in unalignment, and with unalignment comes chaos. Returning the sword brings back order. Order is what creates our nation and makes it strong. Mm. What does our judge say? <laughs> I think Anthony bridged into an answer to a different uh, question at the end there um, and started talking about um, order and tradition. So I think I'm going to award it to House Lunest. Ah, you're a very <laughs> fair judge, I see. Mm. <laughs> right, well, uh, my, my challenge, and I'm going to challenge, I believe, also I'm going to give it to Lunest to be the first okay. person. Please make a personal attack on your opponent's character. Yeah, I love this one. I'm glad you got that one out of the way for me, Eric, because otherwise I was going to have to do it. Uh, pardon me, House Oak representative. In our, my homeland, it is customary to introduce oneself properly before insulting another by trying to take things off their possession. If these were yours or your family's, we would happily give them over within proper due, due course if you know how to do that that over <clears throat> that is i'm sorry <laughs> yeah i think that's it yeah. <laughs> all right This is so much I can go for <laughs> here. All right. <laughs> uh, just to make sure to 
You did introduce yourself, right? Or have we not even done that? Okay, see you. Let's see, in your character. Need an answer. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> the dirty question. My, my character would be so bad at this. You men of House Lunas are all alike. No honor, no tradition, no nothing. Dishonor your ancestors. Well, I'd say you dishonored your ancestors, but your ancestors dishonored themselves years ago when they were alive. This world would be better if you and your kind went back over to where you came from. Uh, I'm giving it to Lunest. Yeah. That's yours, Lunest. You're in that one. Cool. Back to you, Luke. All right. Let me see. <laughs> what else I mean, okay. <laughs> Just to be perverse, please explain how your opponent's position has merit and is worth real consideration. <laughs> uh, House, House, Oak, House Oak, if you would please begin. <laughs> okay. Um, and this is actually... I don't think that he says it, but this is what... He's thinking. He's thinking that if our clan was meant to have the blade, we would not have lost the blade. Quite simply. It's a solid answer. Yeah. Uh, House Lunest? His position. Um... Me how to think the, say this um similar to vain he's not going to be saying this out loud because they're kind of still doing the stare down but um he really believes that if this was his people's property that he should return it but he will be offered the proper courtesies as a new member of this order should be getting and in the mm. case he hasn't got it so he will continue the stare down until one of the two breaks that tie Hmm. Uh, I'm going to give this one to House Oak. Mm -hmm. I think that is a it's a very succinct but a very solid uh, point. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think the way this ends is because I lost anyway. So I think I just mm. brush past him. I'm basically, just barreling him over as I walk through. You lose muster. Yep. That's why. I, yeah. Like yeah. I lose face. So <laughs> you're literally down to three. Oh, I know. I know how this works. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep. So that's what happens when you lose muster. Rather than it being a um, sort of like constantly switch back and forth, back and forth, it's if, if people in front of you, uh, if you lose muster, you jump to the end of the line. Um, it's it's a swing kind of thing. Cool. Cool. Well, that's that's our animated disagreement. And we kind of like probably zoom out there from like you guys just still kind of staring down at each other. Um, yeah. Looking over my shoulder as he walks past and just yeah. kind of brushes brush off. Yeah. <laughs> Would one of you guys like to do a game or um Yeah. Or yeah, you still want to think about it. Yeah, okay. I would, Eric. Yep. What do you do? Uh uh, I'd like to play Stealing Time together. With me? Yep. Ooh. Okay, let's steal some time together. How how did our characters come come to be stealing time together? Uh I'm praying. 
or at least I'm I'm kind of quietly away at a shrine, maybe like lighting a candle or something like that, right? Meditating, maybe. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and you and I hear the sliding of the door, and you come in behind I, me. I think you don't hear the sliding. Oh, of the I door. don't. I, think I I'm just, just I think I'm just in the room. Yeah. yeah. That's even better. That's even better. Totally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's steal some time together. Um. Do we have questions like how do we ask? Look. Yes. Let me let me have a look at the rules. Okay. Uh, okay. So first thing, if our liaison is in any way illicit, decide together what might happen if we're discovered. Um. I don't think this is illicit. I yeah, I think the only the I only possibility is. like are we colluding could be an accusation thrown, but I don't think so. I don't. Th I yeah. Think I don't think this is illicit. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah. Um, so Eric, how do you look to me? What's your mood? I think my shields are down. I actually think I look a little nervous to you. I look a little tense. Mm -hmm. I carry it in my shoulders. You see my shoulders are a little like more hunched and uh, I'm doing a little bit more like this instead of the calm, like yeah. centered meditation, meditating, right? Like I can't get, I can't get into that spot. Can I have a clarification? Yeah, what's up? Where is your weapon? Um, They're not on me. They're probably to the side. Right, somewhere, or like, there's probably a place I'm supposed to put it when you go into a temple. But like, if you killed someone here, you'll have worse problems, I think. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, no, actually, my katana's away. My wakazashi is probably in my, in, on my person. Yep, it's concealed. That's that actually. You're right. That makes more sense because like, I totally killed someone. I probably would do this. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, cool. So that's that's. What about you? Um, how do you look to me? What's your mood? I think he's more... Simultaneously more unbuttoned and yet more, like, professional than usual. Mm -hmm. um, like, Honoka normally is very, very, like, well-dressed and very put together, but also very, like, almost on the edge of inappropriate, like, expressive and open. Right, and, right, right, right. Whereas now, like, uh, I think his hair is down. Uh, not in its usual train, and he's dressed in robes, uh, like soft, you know, like uh, yukata robes that are like kind of like a soft gray color dotted with gold, kind of like fireflies in mm -hmm. the dusk. Um, uh, but he's like somber and watchful. Yeah, yeah. I'm in my like, my traditional ceremonial black uh, kimono. Yeah. Uh, I, it probably has like white, uh, maybe like chrysanthemums. Like, maybe, I mean, that's obviously the Imperial House, something else, right? Like, some kind of like white flower uh, dots my black um, kimonos. Yep, cool. So, uh, conducting the liaison, converse as we like naturally during the conversation. Either of us may, whenever we like, begin an exchange by making yeah. an overture. Yeah, so you, I think you um, totally, I think you got, you totally are the one who surprised me by speaking first, right? So I feel like yeah. you probably, right? Totally. Okay. What yeah. So, um, uh, I think I'm going to start with an overture. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not even yeah. saying anything. You just do. Okay. Yeah. I think I just like, I think, cause I think like you're just in this like meditative, um, you know, trying to meditate and I'm just yeah. like in the room and there's no like announcement of that fact. I think when he knows yeah. that Honoka is there, is when he feels Honoka touch him. Um, so, I touch your shoulder. May I? Right. Um, are you touching it like a like massage-like way? Uh, like you see I'm yeah. tense and you're kind of like yeah, yeah, relieving yeah, exactly. it? Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh, you may, um, you may and I sort of like lean into it to give yourself a better like this is the part. This is where the tension is kind of thing, right? Yeah. And um, I think I say, you have gentle hands. Uh, do I know it's you by your touch? Um, I Possibly. I, I don't know. You tell me, Eric. What's the relationship yeah. of our characters like? Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Let's do it that way. Um, <laughs> right? Like, mm. I feel yeah, like... No, no, I say, I, yes. Yeah, I would say... Hmm. You've, 
yeah, I probably say something very, very, very like cynical, right? I say like, my assassin has very gentle hands. I am not here to kill you, Ryu. Your own foolishness may well take care of that. Mm. If I wanted your death, all I would need to do is wait. Now, now I'm no longer relaxed, right? That's a little <laughs> um, pushy, but the massage feels good. I mean, so it's, it it's, it's, de it's delivered. It's delivered yeah. like very, like it's a, it's a statement. It's not a yeah. threat. It's oh, no. oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's like you're, like you're you're actually like giving me some nice like talk. Yeah, I'm like I'm like if that's what I wanted, like I would just like there 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 as a better time and place for that. Like I'm not here for that. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I believe that my anger is double-edged in that way. What should like I do? Like all swords. It cuts both ways. What should I do? I think that depends. There are two paths set before you. You can be the oak, be the pine, stand tall and proud and mighty. Perhaps you win, perhaps you do not. Either way, it ends with death. Or you can be the bamboo. I, I'm not following. And I think I, I, th I think there's like a, a a soft laugh and like a squeeze of your shoulder. Yeah. Um. You have sworn a trial by combat. Of course. You have not sworn to kill. <laughs> but that's in, that's implied. How can you have a trial by combat that's not to the death? You have been on the battlefield several and it's, times. It's yeah. It's not. It's yeah. not really a question, right? I know. Like, yeah. 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 It's a so rhetorical maybe, question. Yeah, it's a rhetorical I saw, question. I let it yeah. hang. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. You have seen men knocked from their horse. You have seen men laid low by mighty wounds, by the shock of them, cut in the arm, cut in the leg. There are many ways to defeat a man in combat so that the victor is clear, but he does not die. If I leave Yaketa alive, I will always be forced to watch my back. You can kill him. You will always be forced to watch your back as his clan dog your footsteps. Better one man you know than many you do not. Their clan is weak. I could take them all on. Just watch me. Uh, I, I, another laugh. <laughs> um, yeah. Perhaps you could. There's never been a better swordsman than Ryu. Um, Nor I will think... there will be. Yeah, I think... I think there's a smile, and um, I think he says, all those battles and still you have not learned. I guess it will Who... take a defeat to learn something. Who wins the duel is not about the better swordsman. What is it about? And you, my friend, have fear in your heart and doubt in your mind and tension in your muscles. I can't argue with that. I don't say that, but that's what I, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, right? Um...
do we is there an overture uh i mean you tell me i believe i believe Let's yeah see. you you add, i, I yeah. believe we're both allowed to to make them so i yeah i i feel like um so you're you're touching my shoulders and that part and stuff i i i kind of like stop you from moving by like i i touch your your wrists right like from the you were, the way you were massaging me i like grab your 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 wrist to like make yep. you stop for a second right and um yep. and i do okay and i i sh shimmy over in a way so that you are the same height as me and so like i'm asking you to like kneel down to my height right because i was like sitting down um mm -hmm. clarification mm -hmm. would this be past the uh third exchange yeah uh this is the second i believe okay oh okay just asking yeah yeah all right because i i just want to look at you like look at your eyes no, like, totally. i'm just i'm just looking and we just have this this gentle moment i think of um, yeah totally. us just and looking I... eye to eye yeah, and I, I, I just I just look at you like very um like straight on and very like openly and yeah. very sincerely and I say every man born fears to die and wants to live. If you try and kill this man, you put your own life on the line. And I do not think you want to die. Yeah. I don't think I say um, anything. Yeah. I do not only touch, but kiss you as above on the lips. May I? You may, but only for a moment. Um, and I think we see... Yep, cool. Um, and you, you see into my soul, like, when you... After that. And, like, you see that I am scared. I cool. absolutely am scared in my eyes. And you see, you see my, my quivering. Um, and that I can't help but be vulnerable uh, in your yep. presence. Yep. And uh, sound wait that this has been the third exchange. So that is you yeah. No. And then an interruption. Yes. <laughs> um, a priest. Enters yeah. The okay. Room. Cool. Suddenly, yeah, an interruption. Open. He isn't expecting someone there. It just slam. And it's muttering because of, you know, people fighting in the, the streets yeah. earlier. And then it's like, yep. he stops and he kind of looks and dot, dot, dot. It's okay. I feel I feel like the way we ended that scene, we weren't in a necessarily, like, super compromising position or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, and like, it wasn't an illicit liaison. Yeah. 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 Yep. Right. But, yeah. But clearly he walked into a heart to heart. And I feel like that's probably the point where we both realized that we should probably, like, get going. But, yeah, Dan, that was super good. Yep. Cool. Awesome. All right. Now um, I think it's time for some sword fighting. Yeah. Let's sword. Let's, let's meet. Du let's meet dual to, uh, sword to sword. Anthony, you ready? You're muted. <laughs> I think before that, uh, I think there needs to be a bit of intrigue. Okay. Because that, that last session, that's way too. No, that's way too buddy buddy. No, it's not All how right. this works anymore. So yep. I was seeing Antir <laughs> launches an ambush and raids up and down the seaward coast. Coast. House ah. Dillstone and Sindorio each lose one muster. Oh, you knocked me down a peg. But, uh, okay. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. So there's Can't trust those fox people. Fair enough. I will I will talk to you after this duel. <laughs> Alright, so let, let's let's get ready to meet sword to sword. Uh, we'll, yeah. we'll meet sword I to sword. Think I think that's reasonable. Yeah, we're going to meet sword to sword and then we're going to go to our first break. Alright? <laughs> So we're gonna have our duel. Well, I think I think we're we're absolutely going to meet. Um, in, I guess there's probably also like a courtyard or something that's oh, proper yeah, yeah. for a duel like this for sure, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is this is. I, I want to say this is public. Yeah, of course. I think everyone. Yeah, it has to be right. Like, kind of like, I feel like you can't have a a duel in secret, uh, for it to be a trial by combat. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. So I think there's a lot of people in black kimonos in the audience, of course. Similarly, there's probably a, a, a same number amount of, in, of, I, what, what color is oaks? Is it green? Uh, yeah, it's green. Yeah. All right. 
and I stand out with my extreme tallness and crazy white wig and <laughs> swords on the wrong side still. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh god, I just imagined that now, yeah. <laughs> Do, do you see why it took so long to like? How, how do I like knock down a character like that? Like so out of place. It's like, have you seen the mirror? Is it, would that would have worked? Could I would have won with that? <laughs> All right. So let's com let's conduct our duel. All right. Um, how do you look to me? What's your mood? So, like I said before, his hair always down. Right. It's not. It's tied back. It's the mm. hair. It's tied back. Yeah. Serious. There's nothing in his eyes anymore. Yeah. And the the robes that he's wearing, like I said, you've always seen him in very earthy tones, right? Mm -hmm. Some green, lots of obviously green, but lots of, like I said, earth kind of tones. Not so again today as his, it's very, lots of red just it's it's actually something very like ceremonial in the sense that like leaves changing color so mm -hmm. going from the more earthy tones to now what we like what we considered like now fall colors yeah like red. bright fall colors totally yes. okay cool um yeah i look i look also equally uh serious determined uh, my my hair is i always imagine i had short hair Mm -hmm. um, it is is neatly kept, and um, I'm wearing my my black uh, like lacquered armor um, with the white um, white flowers like adorned on it. Um, and yeah, of course we're we're standing there, um, equal distances apart, um, with dark katanas. And uh, the player, uh, so let's make sure when we meet sword to sword, the player whose house has the lower muster begins combat by asking or leading a question. So the way this works is that we have to go back and forth asking ourselves leading questions, just like we were doing in the other parts of the game. However, after the third leading question, closing questions come into play. And then, um, therefore, we can ask closing questions instead of leading questions um, at any point after that. Mm -hmm. uh, keep in mind that some closing questions leave things open and unresolved, and just how some... Um, normal questions, uh, just regular old questions, leading questions, um, can also kind of end things. Alright? Alright. So, um, before you begin, mm -hmm. I do have a question for Ryu regarding yeah. circumstance. Does he believe that it was actually in the best interest of the Empire for him to have done what he did? The Empire? Yes, by way of his family. Because he only does what's best for his family. Okay, I just wanted to... He is a tool to his family. Yeah, uh, we all through and through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So, uh, Anthony, Yakeda yeah, gets to go first. Yep. We lock swords, and your mouth is near my ear. What do you say? How much of a heel do you want to be? <laughs> if you deserve those swords, you shouldn't have lost them. Ooh. So carelessly. <laughs> Uh, so that's my turn. Yeah. Um, we uh, we circle uh, our guards up. Swords are between us. So we have that moment where, like you know, we're 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 slowly circling the the dueling yeah. arena, waiting for the next person to go, right? And um, is it, you have an opportunity to say something. What do you say? To you, I say yeah. absolutely nothing. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Okay, I got this. I overreach, and you have the opportunity for a dirty little blow. A kick to the knee or an elbow to the ear. Do you take it? No. You thr so, so you thrust at me, and I sidestep it, and you leave yourself open, and... What instead, what I do is I, I feign that I'm going to do it, but I stop because I want you to know that I could, but I didn't, mm. and I want and I, I I might even do it in a way that it's it's visible to everyone else that I could have done this, 
and I don't. And I show yeah. basically <gasps> saying like, oh, look how honorable I am by not exploiting this in, in this kind of way, right? Because this is the duel. Couple and so I, I probably that. say, yeah. <laughs> I would have said, I would have said, on the battlefield, you will not be as lucky. Oak. And uh, we, we turn back around and... Um, I throw a high swing, wild but powerful. Do you duck quickly back or do you stand unrattled? Yeah, I. He definitely stands unrattled. Yeah. No. So like I I yeah. So now it's my turn to come at you, right? Yeah, exactly. And, just, no. and I come at you and I go like yeah, and like you you, just, you what do you what what does it look like? I think it's you, in it's the like same way that I thought you would do something dirty, right? Yeah. The way that you've looked at me is that, like, you're better, like, I'm weak and you are strong, right? Mm -hmm. So I do the thing that you don't expect, which is literally just to, like, clash blades standing my guard. And yeah, I would. And so we hear this loud ring as our, our swords are, uh, strike each other. Yeah. And I think this is, I think this is the, I think this is where it happens. Mm hmm. You get your sword be between us and inside my guard. If you drive it home, you kill me. Do you drive it home? Oh. Or do you want me to step back and recover? Oh, man. I know exactly what this looks like, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Go for it. No, like like our swords clash, right? Yeah. They ring out, and your sword breaks. Yeah. My sword goes through your sword. Mm -hmm. And it, it just and it, it's like gets sliced in half, right? And so now you have like half a sword. And my sword's like okay, I guess probably chipped yep. and stuff, but whatever. Uh, the point is that like it's we see that part of like shing, and then then like they hear it grinding, go shing, and like we see like the white line in the anime, right? As mm -hmm. the sword breaks and we hear the as as the sword slices over, and everyone's like oh in, in the stands, right? Everyone's going like oh my god, you know, and and then then it comes back here, and um, yeah, so I have my my sword. Um, Hmm. And I think about Hanoka's words. If I drive it home, I could kill you now. And I hear and I hear this conversation come back, right? Um if if I don't kill him. <sighs> Better to be chased by a man you know than many you do not. No. So I don't, I, I step back, I step back, I do, I fucking step okay. back, god damn it, I step back, I step back and I go, um, you know, like, and I, I don't, and basically I, I look to see if you yield, right? Oh, don't yield. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh man, so I, yeah, I call out to the stand, like, you know, our, our sword has been broken, the trial by combat, um, should be ended. And I think I feel like someone. I, no, I feel like I, yeah. I say that to the crowd, yeah. <laughs> and then I think I think the general, like the like the the magistrate or whoever's overseeing it, right, goes like, it is only over when the other person yields. Yes. Right. Exactly. And so then we see like that, like we just see my eyes look to you, and you're standing there like resolute, right? Exactly. Fuck. <sighs> yeah. What's your next question? Oh man, this would be a great point to uh, throw that sword that's yeah. on my hip out in the field. Just clatter, clatter, I clatter. Say, yeah. <laughs> I I scream, yeah. Like I, I I don't scream it, but like I we just have like our our eyes are locked here, and I'm like yield, yield, God damn it, yield. Uh, and so like I'm probably just standing there, and um, we we aren't. I mean, we're not necessarily circling, but uh, you know, we are between us. What do you say to me? This point, I would say something. Yeah, because I'm not coming. I'm not. I'm not killing you. I'm hesitating. Okay. This is super good. <laughs> yeah. So okay. <laughs> you say that you are strong and you should lead, but a leader needs to be decisive. And then that's, I, and then I start sprinting towards you, broken sword in hand. So. Okay. It's your question. Okay. Yep. So, 
just don't. Okay. Ooh. Good one's in there for that. I think the this one makes sense. Mm-hmm. I seize momentum and in, in the initiative and drive you backwards. If you stand, throw a coin. If I, if it's heads, you hold me back. If it's tail, I cut you through. Do you stand or do you allow yourself to be driven? What does driven mean in this circumstance? So in this in this circumstance, I would say that if the fight would still continue, because this is mm-hmm. trial by combat, right? But you, you would obviously lose a. It would probably look like you lost face because you just yeah, kind of be, ran away a bit from a man with a broken sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I allow myself to be driven. Ooh. And okay. uh, I think I think that's, that also elicits an even greater gasp as I'm afraid to strike someone with a sword as they come at me, right? Yeah, a broken one. A broken one. Right. Um, His ferocity. He has been frightened by it. Oak is so brave. Bold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. You get your sword inside my guard and you cut me across the ribs. Do you press your attack or do you give me a moment? Oh, this so part? I think yeah, so I think what this looks like is that you you come back around. Yeah, so um at this point I'm yeah, I'm not playing, so I would definitely drive it. Um I would not yeah, I definitely so you, you uh, press, press my attack. attack. Yeah. I press my attack, which kind of leads perfectly into um I carve into your side, but in doing so, leave myself open to a return stroke as serious. Do you deliver it? Because, I mean, I have a broken sword, right? So yeah. I, yeah. I have to be in way more inside, like open than yeah. I would be otherwise. I feel like in the pain, I absolutely do. Because I'm, I, I can't, it's like reflex, right? And so I do, and I think like... I think do we like kill each do we kill each other? Ooh. Is that what that is? Oh. I, oh man, I like that. I don't know what we're gonna do for the second half, but I like that. Yeah. <laughs> the best ascends. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah, and I think I think it's that moment when we both have been dealt fatal blows that we collapse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the trial by combat. Ooh. And uh, I think the only thing I think I say like I don't know what I say, but like I'm like confused. I feel like when I'm dying, I'm like confused. I'm like Hanuka, why? Like why did this happen? Right? This wasn't the and, way it's supposed uh, this to. This wasn't go. this wasn't supposed to happen. And I mean... uh, Okay, Eric, I'm about to. Are we, I'm about are we to, stealing I'm, time I'm together about, as I'm dying? Yeah, right. I remember. <laughs> I'm about to like vent the game a little. I, yeah, I think that's totally what's happening uh, right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, yep. Fuck. All right. Well, well, we should we should go to break first. No, I mean this is yeah, too good. Yeah. No, 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 let's, let's do this. Let's go to break. Let's, let's, let's go to break. Don't lose this moment. Don't lose it. Yeah, I can't yeah. lose this moment. Right. Yeah. So like, yeah. Um, yeah. So how did we come to be stealing time together? Well, you're dead. Um, or you're dying. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm definitely yeah. dying. Eric, how do you look to me? What's your mood? <laughs> Not great. Not great, Hanoko. Not great at all. <laughs> My mood is very confused. Distraught. Oh, man, now pain. I have to do one of these with him. Yeah. I gotta do one without now. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> so, what, what does... I mean, look, you could have an animated disagreement as he lies dying if you want to reprise that scene. <laughs> um... Yeah. Sorry, Eric. Um. <laughs> this is not an illicit. <laughs> this is in my head, right? As I'm dying. Uh, I think it might even be like actually happening. 
Like the duel is over. Yeah. Like I like I I go over to you and like mm. kneel oh, down yeah, yeah. and like no one else is like our voices are very low and no one else is within earshot and we just share this like intimate small moment. Okay. In the midst of like you know like House Sundarial and House Oak like erupt and like begin trading right, right accusations here. back and forth and it all kind yeah, of goes, yeah 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 right? totally but, like, totally right in the chaos there's just this little moment that happens. Oh absolutely. Yeah no. that's the point where I'm going to propose for oak later is basically right before everything is faded to black that he's going to do one of these two <laughs> yeah so eric i think uh in terms of my look and my mood um god it's a good question i think um I think Honoka is now, like, they look very, uh, he looks very different than he did when we last uh, saw the two of you together, because this is, like, public face. So he's in, like, these very, very, like, nice, like, 12-layered, like, intricately embroidered robes, and his hair is, like, you know, like, pulled back in this, like, immaculate, really, really elaborate bun. Um, and, like, as he approaches you, his face is, like, totally, like, still and calm, because it's still the public performance. But then, like, as he kneels down and you're, like, close to each other and no one can see, you can see uh, regret and... Uh, regret and also, like, resignation and also, um, like, anger. The, the, the embers of some, like, beginning anger. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's conduct. Let's conduct. Um, I feel like you probably start. <laughs> or no, no, I probably say something like. Yeah, I feel like you like, start. I just say like, no, oh, God, why? Uh, I warned you about fear. I touched your cheek. May I? Yeah, of course. I'm cold. Yeah. Um. I did as you said, and it cost me my life. <laughs> Imagine that. I think I smile, I smile, uh, and nod. I could have killed him, you know, and been alive, but I listened to you. You did. And you did. And this is a good death. The best swordsman killed by a broken blade. <laughs> a man who started all this with a quiet murder, dying with honor for all to see. I kiss your forehead. May I? You may. And, uh, yeah, I'm cold and clammy. No. And, um, I say, all I, I think I say as I, as I, like, kind of, like, go unconscious is, like, that would be enough. Cool. Uh, I think, is there anything you want to say to me? Um, I think or, the uh, last... I grab your thing. hand, actually. May, I, I grab your hand, may I? Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 I squeeze yeah. your hand. And yeah, and I, th I feel my the, grip getting weaker. Yeah, and I think the very last thing you see um, is Honoka's eyes uh, drift over to where Oak is dying and Lunest is like having, and they're having their own like moment, mm -hmm. and you just see those like et those coals of anger just, just like you like slowly like erupt. Yeah, into like cold, furious oh. like determination. Yeah, that's good. That's super yeah. good. And I, th I think, I think because you're dying and I think this is cool. I think you see Fox fire around them as you die. Mm, like you just see almost like, realm. yeah, like almost like Fox fire. You just see this like cold, pale, like golden fire, just like dancing all around their person. He's like sparks and embers like in the air. Oh, uh, uh, feels. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then as you die, I kiss you on the lips. May I? Yeah, you may. I mean, I can't stop. 
That means you could be like, no, I die. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, I die. <laughs> no, no, I think you can. I think you do. I think you do. Yep. Cool. You may, you may before a moment. Yeah. It's... And then you break off and depart in a very literal sense. <laughs> yes, I break off and depart in a very, very literal sense. All right, cool. All right. Yep, that's scene, scene done. Good job, everyone. All right. <laughs> Did you want to do something? Sound waves for that. Uh, see them before as 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 um Yukata's dying, or or should we go to break? It's up to you. I mean, I'm. I think ours is going to be short too. So yeah, no, go ahead. Then absolutely, go go sound waves. Go. Um, he's going to uh, uh, he's obviously he knows that your mood is pretty somber right now. <laughs> um, he however is not smiling like he usually is, and he's actually pulled off his fake wig, and underneath is just um about short brown hair like mine. Um, he wants to touch your hand. May he? Uh, he may. What he does, instead of actually just touching your hand, is press the katana that was on his hip into your hands. Mm-hmm. He says, um, it breaks my heart to know that I played a part in this. I will not forget you. And he picks up the broken one. And puts that beside himself. Uh, and while I think I think I'm too weak to say anything, you just kind of like everything kind of like get washes over him, and you see like this very peaceful smile as his family sword is returned to him. Um, he will, uh, may he touch your face to close your eyes. You may. And he says, from my God to yours, rest. Rest. Cool. That's it. <laughs> Aw. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. But he, well... <laughs> he basically, basically, Mitsubachi is going to be carrying around his sword, the broken one, to remember that this all happened. Oh, that's yeah, super that's good. Nice. That's really nice. Cool. All right, we're gonna go to break. Ooh. We're gonna be back in uh, six minutes, y'all. Uh, so stay tuned. We're gonna do some more. King is dead. Uh, more so sad samurai nonsense. More, more sad samurai <laughs> showdown sadness. Yes, we'll see you guys in six minutes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.